Hello guys, my name is Lenny and today I got an animation for you. Yay! Um, the way I have... Yeah, it's kinda small so you might need to focus on Fred's um, legs by the way. <laughs> the way I have done this is um, right here. I have already drawn some beautiful things and um, Fred as the character has field moving on him. It's the boolean. <laughs> um, the way I work with uh, this boolean is that when I detect that player is holding um, movement buttons and this field is not set to true, I set it to true. That means player, well the character is moving um, if player is not holding any of the movement keys, it's set to false. Now, what does it do on the character? Um, each, uh, each 30 milliseconds, which is the delay for my game, which is the one game tick or whatever, uh, the character is redrawn. And the way uh, the, it is done is that the game asks the character, well, the object for its image with uh, this method. When it asks for the image, uh, the inside the method there's a formula that says that um, for some cases you return one image, for some cases you return another image, and that's only for those cases which involve moving set to true. Otherwise the character, well the image returned is the usual uh, not moving character with uh, legs on the ground or yeah you get it. Um, so and to keep it like more abstract and not hard coded I used a delay, well the game delay for calculating the images that are supposed to be returned. The way I do this is that I keep a counter and as far as um, well, so far as the player is holding movement keys this counter is being increased and the way I return the image is that I, that I calculate the modulo of the delay with uh, half of the delay and then I check um, in which range is the no that's not actually there was supposed to be counter here yeah don't mind um, this the counter is um, divided by half of the delay and then if it's in the first half I return one image, if it's in the second half I return another image. And all this um, is inside um, if which uh, checks if the object is moving. If it is not moving as I said before um, I return the default image. So this way when I start moving the character will start changing um, those images. Pretty neat, huh? <laughs> and I've also added um, this. You can actually equip um, branches. Um, I have set it up only for branches, but um, it should work for any item with uh, just a few minor tweaks. And I have also added. Um, different uh, shadows as I wanted to keep it simpler simpler than before and I have also uh, changed the way objects well th those shadows are drawn that I don't want the shadows to be drawn inside my backpack so I kind of tweaked it and now when I drop it you can see the shadow I have also changed the way um, trees are being chopped, well, where the stump um, appears 
it was kind of buggy before but right now the stamp is should be right about here yeah it just moves or slightly well slightly to the right I don't care about that that's especially when there are um, two different trees but I use um, one mechanics for both of them and I've also changed the shadow drawing when I leave the Lift, well, I don't know. <laughs> lift stuff from the ground, yeah. I've added um new stone block. I made it really fast as I had no idea how to draw a stone block, so and it works the same way for the stone block. By the way, this is just a precaution. Um edges of the map will be empty or maybe half empty I'm still not sure about that um, to avoid any bugs um, with uh, stuff being drawn over I don't want that so that's about it for today's update and by the way there's a circle shadow under rectangular object cool huh uh, <laughs> yeah um, see ya in the next one